Hello everyone, we will continue the topic data browser and in this video we will start with the new data browser and we all know that transaction code for new data browser is SC16N. We already covered SC16, yes SC16 is for data browser and SC16N is the newer version of data browser and SC16N is very much user friendly, very easy to use and now the people are more comfortable with SC16N. Anyways, it's your wish you want to go for SC16 or you want to go for SC16N. Now what we will do, whenever there is a difference between the features, yes, I will show you in SC16, parallelly we will see in SC16 and we will now see all those features in SC16 and also. So firstly, I will go to SC16. This is the initial screen of SC16. We provided the table name and when we pressed enter, this is our selection screen or input screen. Whenever I will click on to execute button, this is our output screen. Now I will show you same to same thing in SC16N, how SC16 look like. Now whenever I will go to SC16N. So in SC16N, here itself, we have an option to pass the table. Suppose I'm making it blank as of now. I'm passing that table. I'm pressing enter. So passing that table name. And if you see your selection criteria, selection screen is same, same. On the same screen itself. In case of SC16, what you are doing, whenever you are going to SC16, firstly, you are passing the table name. Then whenever you are pressing enter, you are getting selection screen after that. Here, passing the table name and selection screen is on the same screen itself. Whenever I will execute, this is my output screen. So first difference you can see in terms of layout itself in term in, in SC16 and in SC16N. Now we will see the next thing. In case of SC16, just see as of now you are able to see field labels. If you want to see the field names, what you did, you went to settings, you went to user parameters and we change it to field name. I pressed enter. Now rather than field label, field names are visible. If you see SC16N, there's no need to change the settings at all. If you see these are our field labels. These are our field name. So everything is visible to you. You can see these are your column names, field names. And these are your field labels. These are your technical names. These are the corresponding description. So you can see both things together. Because it is very much user-friendly transaction code. Very easy to use transaction code. Now next thing. In case of SC16, what do we did? Suppose I'm executing. The data which is coming, which is coming, the data which is appearing, it is appearing in the form of ALV grid. grid because we can increase or decrease the width of the columns. If you want to go for ALV list, how you did? You went to settings user parameters we can go for alv list this is your you cannot increase or decrease the width of the columns 
how you will do this thing in SC16N. Simply, simply, we will go to execute. So you can see we are getting the output in ALB grid format. By default, it is coming in grid format. If I bought list, if I bought list, here we have a button. The name of the button is view. Click on to that button and you can click on to list output. And you can see this is we are getting in ALB list. In case of SC16, you need to choose the specific radio button. Here there is no radio, radio button provision. If you want ALB list, by default grid is coming. If you want list, you need to simply, simply click on to view button and you can go for list output. Now we will go for next thing. In case of SC16, yes, we have an option to see the number of entries. If I will click on to this button, we will get the number of entries of the table based upon the input criteria. As of now, we have not passed any input criteria. So all records of the table is displayed. All whatever the count for the total records is there, it is appearing. In case of SC16N, here we have a button of number of entries. And anyways, we are not going for any filtering criteria. We are not going for any input. So it will also yes, show you same to same records because we are referring same to same table. Now we will proceed further. Now in case of SC16, yes, here we are passing the low value. Here we are passing the high value and we have a multiple selection button where we can go for random values. Means we can exclude the range, we can exclude the single values, we can include the range. So these all provisions, you can go through this multiple selection button. Now we will see. Here also we have these three things. From value means your low value. To value means high value. And this, in case of SC16, the name of the button is more multiple selection. Here name of the button is more, more. Suppose I want to go for order number one. So in SC16, what you did, you simply put the order number one and execute it. And you are able to get the details of that record. Same thing. Here, we will pass the value 1 in this from value. We will execute. And we are getting the details of order number 1. Now, if I will go for range through SC16, so I will go to 1 to 10. I will go to execute. You can see we are able to see 1 to 10. Here in SC16, you can put from 1, you can put to 10. I will execute. Same to same result. It is a newer version of data browser. Now, if you want to go for random values, so what we did in SC16, suppose I will remove this. You click on to this button. Suppose I want to go for single, single random values. I want to go for order number one. I will go for order number five. Suppose I will go for order number 10. I will go for this copy button. So whenever I will execute, I will see one, five and 10. They are not in range. Here in SC16, what I will do. Here you will find the difference. Suppose I am removing this. I will click on to this more button, more button. In case of SC16, when you clicked on to multiple selection button, you are able to find four tabs. 
select single value, select range, exclude single value, exclude ranges. But here there is no such tab. Now you can simply, simply pass here. As of now, we are going for random values. So I will put one, I will put five, and I will put 10. I will go for OK. Transfer data. I will go for execute. Now you can see we are able to see 1, 5, and 10. Okay. So, what is the summary of the video? In this video, we started with the newer version of data browser, or I'll say new transaction code for data browser that is SC16N. And we compared SC16N is more easy to use and more user more user friendly. And we saw the first difference in case of SC16. Your field name and field labels are appearing together. In case of SC16, you need to choose through the radio button. In case of SC16, you need to choose through radio button, ALV grid or ALV list. In case of SC16N, by default, grid is coming. You can simply, simply change it to list by choosing the button list output. Number of entries is totally same. We are able to see number of entries in SC16. Same is available in SC16 also. SC16 and SC16N. After that, yes, we simply started how you can filter the data based upon the input. Yes, we gave from value, we gave to value. And in case of SC16, the name of the button is multiple selection. In case of SC16N, the name of the button is more. And we will not be able to find those four tabs here. In the next video, when we go for include range, when we go for exclude single value, when we will go for exclude ranges, then you will get the more more clarity in terms of SC16N. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.